every day is a great day for a great day all day. Some days it's easy. Yesterday, that was easy. Today, it was a hard choice. This is editing Aaron just popping in to say this video is largely based around my mental health and the struggles I was having during this week. Some, some positive talk, some just real talk about how I was feeling in the moment, much related to grief around the upcoming anniversary of my husband's death and how I get it through how I get through this week. So there are some definite moments of levity and positivity. There's some good bits with Charlie, my four-year-old niece, and uh, as well as finally some book talk towards the end of the video. So just wanted to warn you, let you know what you're in for if you are here for this vlog. Hi friends, I'm Erin and this is Erin Go Live. This is the start of a weekly lifestyle vlog reading activity food life whatever whatever life has for me this week so it's monday morning it's just before 9 a.m and boy did i start off monday with a monday thing i uh wearing this sweatshirt i have a 6 a.m group class at the gym and um, about halfway through the class i took off my sweatshirt and about 10 minutes later i looked down and was like where are the words i was wearing my shirt inside out so that was how my Monday started, but now it is not yet 9 a.m. I have over 8,000 steps. I've worked for two hours and got my workout in. So what started off a little bit rocky, it's actually the great start to the day, great start to the week. So, you know, always going in, going into the day, going into the week with the mindset, it's a great day for a great day all day, even if your shirt is on inside out. So I am about to head home, get um, showered, changed and ready for the rest of the day. I'm gonna have breakfast. I'll share what I'm going to have with you in a minute. And then I've got a full day of um, nutrition coaching calls and all that kind of stuff. Some uh, social media content, that kind of thing. So yeah, come along with me. So I thought I was going to have time earlier to actually make different food than I had. But I was going to make protein pancakes, which was what I was going to show you. But I ran out of time. So thankfully, I had my... Uh, overnight oats already ready for me. So all I had to do is grab that and take it with me to my co-working space. So instead, I'm going to show you a little hack that I use to increase protein uh, on a sandwich. So I've got the my sourdough bread of choice. This is uh, San Luis sourdough. I believe this is pretty widely available. As um, I showed on Facebook yesterday, I showed a grocery cart of mine. I ran into a client, a gym client at the grocery store yesterday and she wanted to see what I had in my shopping cart. Um, and uh, that was one of the things I had in there. And somebody who doesn't live here in California commented that that's the best sourdough. And it is very good. And it is only 70 calories per slice. These are definitely on the smaller side. Like if I show my hand for comparison. So these aren't giant pieces. But one thing I like to do, I'm just having just deli turkey on here. But is take some Greek yogurt. So instead of using like mayo or whatever, is I put on about a quarter of a cup or so of, and I have a food scale down here. Come on, tear. There we go. Um, I use a food scale so I know 76 grams is a quarter of a cup. Slather that. See how close I got? Not even close. Put it on both sides and basically I'm going to smear it on and then the real like trick to this is I have the Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning in the shaker bottle and just shake that on it and then I get a, um, a nice ranchy flavor so I'm adding protein not adding a lot of calories and then um, it when you're in a like a fat loss phase it helps you just to make your make your calories and your protein go further so you can enjoy more volume of food in other areas and we're not wasting it on things like mayonnaise. Now, I mean, if you just like love mayonnaise and that's where you wanna spend your calories, that's cool. Um, for me, that's just not, that's not where I wanna spend my calories. And, and this gives me added protein as well. So nice like bang for your buck. And then I'll just sprinkle the ranch dressing, not the ranch dressing, the ranch seasoning on here. And I have a really nice sandwich. So kind of a weird, uh, it, this tends to be, personal trainers in general tend to have like weird eating schedules because a lot of times we have to work super early and our schedules are built around other people's schedules. So I tend to eat at kind of odd hours. And then also I found when you're in a fat loss phase, it can actually be quite helpful then to utilize something like intermittent fasting. 
And the only reason that intermittent fasting works, can work for fat loss is just because if you are eating in a shorter period of time, it just can make it easier to eat fewer calories. And ultimately being in a caloric deficit is the only thing that causes fat loss, right? So when I'm in a, I just tend to not be hungry in the morning, first thing in the morning anyway, but especially if I'm in a fat loss phase, um, I might be a little bit more intentional, intentional about pushing uh, my eating window a little bit further in the day or at least not worrying about it. Uh, and then I'm just more concerned about making sure I'm getting enough protein in during that, during that time. It's 519, uh, but I have a six o'clock gym client. So then I will ultimately have my like dinner dinner uh, when I get home at about 715. So I'm gonna have pork chops and rice and Brussels sprouts. So I think is gonna be on the menu for tonight. All right, so now it is time for real dinner. Just got the two pork chops out of the air fryer and I just heated up 100 grams of rice plus um, probably another 100 grams or so of um, cauliflower rice with mixed veggies. So great kind of hack for adding volume without adding extra calories or adding very few extra calories that is. He's using cauliflower rice um, plus you're getting an extra veggie in. It's going to help keep you full with almost no calories um, plus you're getting those extra nutrients. And then I'm going to move my pork chops over. Just to save time, I steamed my uh, Brussels sprouts. Basically, just throw them into a microwave-safe bowl, put a wet paper towel on them for two minutes. Now I'm going to toss them into the air fryer. You won't have to cook for nearly as long. I'm going to give them just a little bit of a zhuzh, some olive oil spray, hit them with some roasted garlic. Will that focus? Roasted garlic and herb seasoning. Give that a little toss. And do about three minutes on both sides and dinner will be ready. All right, so it's Tuesday afternoon. I'm not feeling awesome. Um, this can happen to me on like slower days. Um, and it's a slow rainy day. You know, started off the day, had a great training session with my friend um, who herself was going through kind of a, a hard patch particularly I had a really bad yesterday and it's kind of translating um, moving into today and so for her um, you know following through with our training session today was really important for her mental health um, you know just the endorphins of the workout but also like following through doing something that you're supposed to do um, you know, mentally that feels really good too. And I don't know if it's just like the anniversary of Sam's death is looming, seasonal affective disorder type of stuff, um, lack of a uh, anything on my calendar basically after 1030 this morning, um, other than um, a therapy session, which just gets you into like internal... Um, you know, self-evaluation mode, which always, isn't always the best thing. Um, I'm just feeling rough right now. And like, honestly, I've got clients three, four and five and then book club after that. And I mean, I just want, it makes me want to just text everybody and be like, I'm sick. I can't make it today. I know that that's not what's going to be helpful. That's what I want to do. I want to curl up on the couch and just go to sleep right now. Which is what I did, basically, between the end of my therapy session and about two minutes ago. Um, but I know that that's not going to actually help anything. It's not going to make me feel better. Putting on a little bit of makeup, getting out of the house, and focusing on other people is what's actually going to make me feel better. Um, but it's a hard choice. <laughs> it's hard. This is one of those, it is choosing the hard right over the easy wrong, for sure. Um, I was just, as I was kind of resting, I never actually like fell asleep on the couch. I was watching this documentary on YouTube about this multi-stage race in the desert called Desert Rats. And these people over the course of, I don't know, four or five days go from somewhere in the desert in Moab, Utah to Eagle, Colorado, I think, or whichever direction they go in. They go a really long way in the desert in grueling heat and terrible conditions and one of the runners was saying, um, 
one of the best ways that you can start to feel better is to stop thinking about yourself and to focus on somebody else. Um, And that's absolutely been the case for myself. When I'm having a down day, when I'm having a hard time, it's those times when it's just me that I struggle the most. And as soon, especially when it comes like to work, as soon as my focus is on my clients, whether it's my nutrition clients on the phone or my gym clients in person, I snap right out of it and I turn into Aaron the coach, Aaron the trainer. I am hyped up. I get, you know, I, I, I get, I, it gives me energy to, giving energy to other people gives me energy. I think I'm just kind of like trying to hype myself up for my afternoon here. I am excited about going to book club this evening. We're talking about Lady Parts by Deborah Copehagen. So that'll be the end of the day. But yeah, I'm just like, it's not, today's a struggle. Yesterday, flying high, 13 hour work day, just felt good all the way through. Today, it is a much harder day to live up to living life as a verb to it's a great day for a great day all day. Um, These are the times that having that paradigm shift really matters because this is what keeps me from falling down that slippery slope. You guys, I feel 100% better, like a complete 180. I know that if I had done what I wanted to do, what I felt like doing and canceled my clients and curled up on the couch, I would just continue to feel that way. And then I would feel bad that that was the choice that I made, which would just not make me feel good about myself. And that like, that feeling will very possibly roll into tomorrow. And so even though it was hard, I, you know, acknowledged what I was feeling and made the hard choice to do the right thing. And it's not the right thing in that it's wrong if you wallow in your feelings or spend an afternoon on the couch because you're feeling down. I'm not saying that that is wrong for anybody else to do. What I'm saying is that I know that if I made that choice, that is a slippery slope. That is like, this is like, that was like a major, um, in dialectical behavior therapy, we call it, um, green light, yellow light, red light. That was a major flashing, glaring yellow light that if I made that choice, I'm heading headed right into a red light territory, which is the abyss of depression. And it may not have ended up that way. I could have gone to sleep and woke up fine tomorrow, but it's those little choices, like those, that that crux moment where you can go this way, you can, or the, you can go this way. You can take the blue pill or the red pill, and it is gonna determine where you're gonna end up. And it, it determines, you know, it, it says something about your character too. So that ability, to be able to make that hard decision and do the thing that you know is ultimately going to be right for you. And that's, that's like the big point that I want to like hit home here. And that like, I want to internalize for myself is that it's, there's nothing wrong with feeling what you're feeling and having a bad day and not wanting to do things. But the hard choice is then to, what can I do to bring myself one step out of this? What can I do that's going to bring me one step closer to where I actually want to be rather than one step further away in that kind of that, that slippery slope. So, um, I ended up my, both my three o'clock and my five o'clock clients couldn't make it. Um, saw my four o'clock client. That was great. So I was able to actually get my workout in because what I didn't talk about is that I, if things had gone as planned, I would have skipped my workout today, basically. So I was able to get my workout in. Um, and I trained my four o'clock client and she had no clue that there was anything wrong with me. It, you know, she, you know, I was just a hundred percent attuned to her. She had some stuff going on personally that she was kind of working through and it was like a therapy session for her, both to be physically be active and then to just kind of be able to vent a little bit of the stuff that was going on with her. And like I knew would happen, me being able to focus on somebody else helped pull me out and it took me from a place of self-pity to a place of service and active listening and getting to kind of be in my zone of genius which just makes me feel good and just you know the endorphins are there and everything like that so um you know my motto it's a great day every day is a great day for a great day all day 
Some days it's easy. Yesterday, that was easy. Today, it was a hard choice. But even though I had a rough patch for a good portion of the day, there was still day left. And I was able to turn around and I'm feeling amazing right now. So I'm off to book club. Uh, where, uh, where I think I mentioned it before, well, we, where we will be discussing Lady Parts by Deborah Copagan. I'm gonna get a nice home cooked meal that I didn't have to cook and uh, just enjoy some nice companionship, some nice um, me, me, making new friends. So Meredith is already my friend. She's who got me into rock climbing. And then this is only my second time going to this book club. And so, you know, continuing to like develop relationships with the other ladies in the group. Wait, who did you see? I had a whole, I saw a whole bird if, I had a, I saw a whole bird, I had a whole, I saw a whole school of birdies and it was not raining. So what does that mean? It means we can go. Cool. We're going to do our walk at Annie's? Not in Annie's. Well, at Annie's. Yeah. Okay. What are we going to see there? We're going to eat some food. And then talk to Annie, and then go on a walk, and then we'll come back home. You know what, though? I don't know that Annie's going to be there. She's having lunch with her sister. Who's her sister? Um, I can't think of her name right now. Is it... I have a new name that my friend is named. What's that? Dina. Dina? I don't think her name is Dina. Pretty sure it's not. But we could still go by the water and go for a walk and have a snack. Okay. That sound okay? Yep. We could see Megan instead of Annie. Remember Megan? Yep. She's my friend. Perfect. All right. Ooh, I guess we better put shoes on. Okay. Let's put this ball away so see if it doesn't get... Good idea. Because I do not want to get bitten by a shark. You don't want to get bit by a shark? No, they're creepy in my in their mouth. They're creepy in their mouth. Cause it's been raining so much, they come off the trees. Whoa, I see a ton of ducks. Where? Here, go walk out in front of this bench and then look out into the water. Oh my God. They just all just dove underwater and they're gonna come back up. Let's see. I see you stepping black. Do you see it too? Yep. No, that's there were a bunch of ducks just a second ago. There, there they are. They're, they're popping up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't walk. <laughs> so many. I think that's a little bit school. A school of ducks? Oh, look, a smiley face. Oh, look, a smiley face. Lovely. I am talking to our friends. Hi, friends. She's got her snack. We're going on our hike. No, our walk. Our walk, not our hike, our walk. It's a trail we know very well. This is right along the American River, right by my co-working space. This is our normal walk that we go on. Yeah, you've been here before. We've got a little bit of sprinkle going on, kind of showering on and off today. But honestly, I just really need to be outside. I spent most of the morning kind of napping on the couch while she watched TV. So it's good to get out and move because I know that's what is actually going to help me um, feel better and stay feeling well. And it is just glorious. It's so green because it has been so damn wet. Don't say that word or I'll still be sad. Sorry, friends. Friends, friends, friends. 
take a bite. This is yummy. Swinger. You're an impressive swinger. That's Does it make you sick because it because when your mama pushed you, you you got sick? No, just the movement. It's called motion sickness. It's like when you get car sick, but it even happens for me on swings. You get car sick? Yeah. Sometimes I do get cards. Can you push a little more? Yeah. <laughs> Dang it, that was funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we push ourselves. Okay. Let me get on my swing. Okay. Swing. It is Friday afternoon. It's about 3.30 and I have one client left for the day. Early day started at 6 and I'll be booked basically till 4.30 or I'm, I'm booked pretty much straight through till 4.30 except I just had um, my 3.15 cancel on me so I have a little bit of um, the gift of time. I've been given the gift of time and so I'm going to use it to get outside on this beautiful day. The hawks are in the sky. Oh, where'd they go? Can you see them? Where are the hawks? There we go. The hawks, Cooper hawks are in the sky. Actually, they could even be the, no, those are definitely, those are definitely Cooper hawks. There are eagles that live just across the water. So occasionally you get the treat of actually seeing the eagles, not the Cooper hawks. Not to disparage the Cooper hawks, but you know, the eagles are just extra special, you know? So anyhow, um, having a much better day today, I do really feel like, like if I was at home, I would definitely take a nap. I just feel tired and I might still take a nap, but not before I finish my day and not before I get some fresh air, some sunshine. It is a little bit on chilly, chillier than I expected it to be, but it feels really nice with the sun on my face um, and just seeing blue sky. Blue sky and sunshine is such a delight and I took yesterday as I was, it was yesterday or, yeah, yesterday as I was, uh, you know, it was a really hard day. I was leaving the gym um, last night and there was a rainbow. The, like, one side of the sky was, like, all gray and ugly and then the other side was, like, blue and the sun was shining and there was a rainbow. And, you know, it was a good reminder that you don't get the rainbow without the rain. You don't see the stars without the darkness. And I actually had a... Uh, coaching call with my coach today and she has this friend who's an energy healer and um, that was one of the things that we were talking about is um, just kind of like growing through um, giving yourself grace and allowing yourself to um, kind of lean into moments of pain and grow through them and stuff like that and um, I'm not like a big, you know, I'm not a big, I try to have an open mind, but the whole like energy healing stuff, I don't know, like tarot card, all that kind of stuff. I don't know. And then, but it was crazy because we had just been talking about the whole rainbow thing. And then the card that she pulled for me was like a night sky with stars. And uh, that was essentially the message of the card. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, I am out here enjoying this beautiful walk and listening to Middlemarch. I'm gonna switch hands here. Um, so we're in, I don't know, book four. Now maybe uh, chapters in the 30s now, right around book 30 or so. And we are with the, basically the less interesting um, group of characters and this old man has died and it's kind of like the reading of the will and who among his relatives is going to um, inherit what and so honestly when it's kind of this group of people I'm just trying to pay attention and trying to keep up with it but it's still like there are these lines that are just so good in this book where if I was if and when I'm reading it in physical form I'm you know 
I'm, I'm underlining it. Um, so I can definitely see how powerful her writing is. I'm just having a little bit of a hard time sometimes just keeping up with more of the lack of story. Yeah, I think it's like the lack of plot and just figuring out, hey, we're just like hanging out with these people. Is anything actually happening? Or did I just like doze off and miss it? So I'm very much enjoying the writing. Um, I'm just a little bit, sometimes feel like, am I actually picking up what's happening? So that's where I am with Middle March. And then the goal will be to be, the goal will be tonight to finish Amari and the Night Game. I think I have about, I keep, I keep messing up that title. Amari and the Great Game. Yeah, like a little marsh right here. That's normally not a wetland right there. But it's a little, little marshy, a little swampy right now. Any day now, this will be full of cottonwood trees and I will be a sneezing mess. Literally, there will be like piles of cotton along the sides of the, uh, of the trail here. So better enjoy this sunny spring moment before the cottonwoods are in full bloom. Um, but anyway, I'm already in the night game. The goal is to finish that tonight. And now I'm gonna shut up and enjoy this peaceful walk. This has been a hard ass week. And here it is, it's 4.32. We've been going since 6 a.m. pretty much nonstop, except for that kind of little impromptu walk, that little extra half an hour that I had. But I'm just so proud of myself for getting through this week. And it's a good reminder that when you're having those hard times, those bad days, whatever, like it's temporary. It'll, it'll pass, this too shall pass. And you have to get through the rain to see the rainbow. Now it's time to head home, pick up a book and cozy up on the couch.